Because of the expense or notion they are wasting glass, glass crafters are reluctant to practice making circles. I will show you how to practice and in a way that can be fun and also economical. Because it is inexpensive and easy to score and break, you should start this practice session with a 12 inch square of single strength window glass. With this circle system, you will be holding the glass cutter in one hand and turning the glass with the other. If you can rub your tummy and tap the top of your head at the same time, you can learn to do what I'm doing in this video. I am making a one inch split ring for my first practice circle. The first setup is for an 11 inch circle and a 9 inch circle. Proper lubrication is important to a quality score. I always check to see if the cutter is oiling. Learning to keep an even scoring pressure while you are turning the glass is very important. At first it may seem hard, but each try will get easier. I have placed a blue line on the turntable so you can see how I start and end my scores. It is important not to overlap the score. Watch how I use the blue line to stop the score at just the right point. If you are wondering why I made two scores, it is to save time and make sure that the ring will be one inch all the way around. With the glass turned over, I am ready to break out the ring. I will run the outer score first by applying gentle but firm pressure on the score at each of the four corners. I will continue to press over the score until it is run and then run the inner score in the same manner. Next I will need some relief scores. I will turn the scored side of the glass up. Be sure the relief scores are away from the ring. Because this is a split ring, I can save some effort by also scoring the ring with my last relief score. Turn the scored side of the glass down and remove the outer scrap first. I will be keeping all the scores on the same side of the glass and this is important to me. When the glass is broken, the scored edge of the glass will not be sharp. The other edge will be very sharp and will cut you. I want to know what side is sharp as I start to handle the glass scrap and then remove the one inch ring. The next setup is for a half inch split ring. I will remember to turn the scored side up as I use the bar ruler to center the circle. The turntable has a small orange dot in the center. Because I can see through the glass, I will make a dot on the glass to help me find the center later on. I am starting with a 9 inch circle and to get a half inch ring, I will adjust the cutter guide for an 8 inch circle. Now that all is ready, I will start to score using the blue line as the start and end point. When I am finished with the score, I will turn the glass over to run the score. Applying quick little jerky pushes is not a very powerful way to break glass. A gentle push and hold is the best way to have success. When a score is not running as you were expecting, you can overdo by simply pushing too hard. If nothing seems to be happening, just start pushing and holding along the score and then move on. Often you will have to go over some areas several times. Turn the glass over to make the relief score. Be sure to start back from the score and pull the glass cutter off the edge. After making the score, turn the glass over to break the relief score and remove the half inch ring. To shorten the video, I will skip showing the seven inch ring. Problems on the 6 inch ring will be more interesting. Use the dot to center the glass and adjust the cutter guide for a 6 inch circle. 
To set the size of the circle, we always use the radius, which will be three inches. After making the score, I will again turn the glass over to run the score. In running the score, I will make a foolish mistake. By forcing the run and pushing much harder than is needed, I will cause a break in the half inch ring. Take some time to evaluate the problem. Sometimes you get lucky. This mistake is similar to the relief line. I will need any way to remove the ring. I have decided that the runner from the safety brake system is the perfect tool to help me clean up this mess. A few pushes in the right places and the ring is ready to be removed from the circle. With smaller circles, I prefer using double stick tape to hold the glass in place rather than the pad. I feel circles under six inches tend to tilt some from the scoring pressure when the pad is used. This effect is similar to tilting your cutter during a score. You will get a better score using the tape with smaller circles. The circle and border system comes with a roll of double stick masking tape and you will only need a couple small pieces to hold the glass. I will use the dot to center the circle and stick it to the turntable. The next setting is for a five inch circle. Experience has taught me that as the circles get smaller, the turning the glass over and pushing down technique tends to bevel the glass edge some and cause the circle to be slightly oversized. To prevent this, I use the safety brake runner on the smaller circles. As the rings get smaller, it will be increasingly harder to remove them in one piece. What I am trying to do is difficult with small circles and I expect problems. Remember this is practice and you will learn something from each little mishap. Because I will not be making any mistakes for the next few minutes, I will be speeding up this practice session by cutting out some of the repetitive stuff. The glass cutter that I've been using is a custom grip super cutter. You can learn more about super cutters at glassaccessory.com. You can learn more about the circle and border system and the safety brake at mortonglass.com. The six page manual that comes with the safety brake has a lot of important information on how to score glass. You can download it for free at mortonglass.com. Getting back to the practice session, you must learn to keep steady pressure on the glass cutter while turning the turntable with your opposite hand. You can practice this skill without scoring on glass. One simple method is to acquire an eight inch to 12 inch square of window glass. Cut a cardboard square that is smaller than your glass and use masking tape to attach it to the glass square. The type of cardboard can be poster board or the side of a cereal box. Now you can practice scoring several sizes of circles on the cardboard as if it were your glass. Be sure to maintain the same cutter pressure while the glass is moving or stopped as you go from blue line to blue line. Most people score way too hard. Just a normal and even scoring pressure will usually do. I have been lucky to get this far without many problems. By pushing too hard, I have caused a fracture in the two inch ring. Even if I would have been more careful, it is doubtful that this small ring could be separated from the circle intact. At this point, the best solution is a relief score that will split the ring in half. I hope this practice plan has you excited to start making some circles. Remember this is practice and practice can also be fun.